Hey, what's going on, everybody? Your boy DJ City Manos. I got some good news and some bad news. Good news and bad news. The bad news. Here's the bad news. So I was trying to um, map my buttons right here for the color effects. I mean, I, like I said in my previous video, I don't have to do it. But this is something I want to do. I just wanted to try it out and see if I could figure it out. Because I seen that one video and I was like, oh, what did he do there? What did he do there? But uh, um, I kind of figured out how to toggle. I was toggling through the the the, the thing. I was toggling to the effects, but now I want to do an individual, right? And I was messing with it, and my computer crashed. It crashed like twice when I was doing it. So I was like, what the? So the third time I turned it on, um, and then I went, I, went, I went inside to look for my settings, and I noticed it went back to the original. The original, I was like, wait a minute. What happened to my settings? Um, it went back to the default. <laughs> so when I went right here on the mapping, when I went to the mapping, I tried to look for my name and it couldn't, it wasn't there. It was just ignore and factory default. So I was like, what the heck? <laughs> so I, I didn't really map a lot of things on my, my control. I only map a few things. So it's no big deal. So I went to my settings or to my folder and I went to the virtual DJ folder and I want to see what's going on. So when you go to the mapping, the mapper, folder you open it up and here is mine right here my old one the last time I updated was eight o'clock and here goes the new one right here I just up updated it right now so that's when it crashed but it's not finding this everything's the same look at the documents everything just the name the same but it won't open it up that's the crazy thing about it you know so you come over here you go to your settings it won't find it and when I saved it it saved it as a one I put the same name in there. I saved it as a one because they know the other folder exists, but it's not there. You select it. Let's see if I get rid of the one. What happens? Let's see. Let's see. This is. Huh. Let me save this right here. Okay, let's exit out. <laughs> Hopefully it works. Cause I don't want. Oh, now it went to two. Before it's one, now it's two. So it made a third one. <laughs> See, it's making a bunch of them. Let's go back to the folder. Let's go to documents. Virtual DJ. Mm, where's the um, mapper? Now I should have, that should have three now. See, goes my original. It was the one I just. Just did it right now, and here goes the other one. So let's get rid of this one. <laughs> let's get rid of this one. I want to have. I don't want to have a whole bunch of them. But anyways, it won't let me. It won't let me save it to to this one. I hear that's crazy. And if I get rid of this one, it won't find that one. So anyways, I ain't, I really didn't map that many. Um, so I'm not tripping. Let's go back. Let's see if the. Let's go back and see if it. Cause remember, I got rid of two. Let's see. See, there goes one right there. But anyways, let's make sure everything's the same. All right, cool. Everything looks it looks the same. Um, so that's the bad news. Um, this is not really no big deal. I really didn't lose much, but I got something to work. I did got the color effects to work, and let me give a shout out to Mister DJ Palacios. He's the one that told me go try try this. He put the commands right there and I tried it and it worked beautiful. So thank you so much. It worked. Now, now is it a hundred percent perfect? No, it's not. It's not. There's some things wrong with that. I was playing with it. There's some things wrong with it, but it worked. What I wanted it to do, I just wanted to toggle and select the select it, and that's it and, and use it. It works. So I'm going to show you. Let's go ahead and uh, select the song. Let's slap on some hip hop, some hippity hippity hip-hop so now let's go select the which one do i want to do i want to do mama said knock you out um let's see what this is i always have to play the new stuff oh that's some pillow pillow some pillow dang got that too short And he, he sampled that from uh, 
I think he sampled that from Freaky Tales. Um, it sounds like it. Um, I just slap on the loop because I lost my loop. I had it on my controller and I got to map it again. But anyways, let's put a loop in there. All right. So the way this works, the way this works right here, if you can see right here, I am going to go ahead and toggle through them. So right now we're on cut, distortion, echo. So you could toggle through them. And look at what's going on over here. Nothing. You could toggle that one. Look at what's going on over here. So he showed me how to split them up. So I gave a big old shout out to Mr. DJ Palacios. I think that's what you say his name. Palacios. Let me see. Did I close it? I had to close it. Let's go back. Let's go back and look for his name. I think it was Palacios. My channel. Where's my comments at? Mr. DJ Palacios. Mr. DJ Palacios, he hooked it up. So it works. All right. Now, there's a problem. There's some minor things, but it works. So we could toggle through them. Each, each one has its own individual deck. That's why I wanted it. Now let's turn on the left side. Now, let's go. Right now it's on filter. See, it turned it off. I don't know why. I was going to toggle. See, there's some, some, some issues, though. So let's turn it back on. We're in noise. Now it's fine. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure is it because I have four channel mixer or what it is, but now it's working. So you turn it off. See, I turned it off. It didn't turn it off. It went to the next one. Now it turns off. It seems like it skipped. See, it turned. So there's some issues, all right? So let's turn it off. Let's go to the next one. Turn that one on. Let's scroll through him. So now this one right here. Well, see that? That was beautiful. Turn it off. Okay, let's turn it on. Let's go to the next one. See? That's beautiful. That's the way I want it. That's the way I want it. Now, let me show you what's going on here. Let me show you what's going on here. Let's open this up. The first one right here. That's actually my script that I grabbed. That's when I was using to toggle. But you see, when I try to turn it off, it didn't turn off. <laughs> so this script is not 100% good, but it worked. It toggles. Here goes Mr. Palacio's script right here. That's his script. Simple. Defect or deck two filter select, and then he has a plus one. So now let's copy this. And let's replace my script. Because my script has a little bug in it. So now let's change the deck two to deck one. Deck one. Okay, so that's it. Let's save that bad boy. So it did work. Mine was toggling. Like I said, I, I kind of, if you watched my previous video, I got it to toggle. And I was just trying to figure out how to divide the decks. And Mr. Um, Palacio showed me how to, how to split the decks. Now, check this out. I was doing my homework. And I was going to do that today until I seen his message. I said, oh, what the? I was already on it. I go to the virtual DJ forum and... I type in like let's say I'm trying to figure out how to how to um, split the decks. I, I type in like assign decks or something. Give it a to do a search, and look at what I came up with. I came up with this one. I don't know if you can see this. Let me go to the camera. Let's go to the camera. I don't know if you can see this. Right there it says deck one effect. Whatever the effect is, inactive. I was going to try that. I was going to do deck one and then put that command and try it. <laughs> so, Mr. He hooked it up, man. He hooked it up. So, he made his simple. Let me show you his script for the, 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 the decks. Here it is right here. Deck two filter. Because I was going to, we're, we're dealing with filters. Activate. Activate. You know, to turn on, turn on the filters. I like, cool. His works. Here goes the other one, deck one. 
Oh, you can't even see. Man. I swear. DJ City Models. So, yeah, he put, um, for the deck, he put deck one filters activate. And then for the deck two, he put this one. Same thing, but just change the decks. Deck two, deck one. So it worked, but I, I did, I was doing my research and I came up with uh, this one. I said it, um, deck one effect cut active. I was just going to put the filter active. I was going to put deck one, <laughs> but he beat me to the punch. I was like, yes, yes, yes. But it wouldn't work anyway. So the, the command to the toggle one wasn't working. So that was still to give me some problems, but he hooked it up with that one also. So shout out to Mr. DJ Palacios. He hooked it up with both scripts. So they both work. Now we're going to try it out. We are going to try it out. I saved it. I think I saved it. Let's try it out and see. Just to verify. Let me go see if it's saved. This one should be his script, which is this. Deck one, filter, select. And let's look at this one. And it's the same. Cool. Everything's the same. So now, let's go ahead and do this. Turn it on. Now we go turn it off. Let's do the other one. Actually, let me close my computer and turn it back on. Because I notice um, when you make changes, um, it doesn't really make changes until you turn it off. Now, let's see. All right, cool. Let's look for some hip-hop. Again, hip-hop. Hip-hop. 2023. Um, anyone, anyone, let's see. Fly girl, slap that one over here. Let's slap on some Oakland ish over here. Same beats per minute. All right, cool. Let's put a loop in here. All right, the first one. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn it on. So it's on reverb. Cool, that works. The other one, Oakland ish. Let's turn that one on. And let's select um, Flanger. Oh, I have to hit play first. All right, so that works. So both of them are working, right? Um, now, here's the thing. How can I get both of them to do play work at the same time? So we have the the flanger on the left turned off. There you go. <laughs> now they both are on. And let's see if we could toggle to this one, toggle to that one, toggle to this one, toggle to that one. See that? But like I said, it's not 100% perfect. Because let's say um I I want I look for uh, this this um, noise right I have noise on the left side got noise over here so I have noise on the left side right now once I try to look for uh, um, one over here on the right side I'm gonna click on and search for something look what happened with noise it changed. You know, so you got to go back and change it to noise. So now, oops, I hit the wrong button. I got to look for noise again. See, I lost it. Anyways, there's still, there's still some, 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 some minor problems, um, but it works. It works. It works. It works beautiful. I got to play with it and see if it, you know, that's when you really find out if it really works. Because um, what I do notice, um, like I have noise over here on the left side. And let's say I want to switch it over to something else over here. See the way it changed? Noise change. When I start toggling to the other one, it changed once only. So I don't know why. You know, but it did change. So let's say I have Mobius on this side now. Well, I changed it already. Um, let's say I have cut. Once I select something on the left side, cut is going to move by one. Oh, no, no, it didn't. 
Huh. See, now it did. See, now it did. It's kind of weird. It's, it's, it's weird. It, it just moved once. And it's randomly. <laughs> See, I have it on reverb on the right side. I want to put change the vocals on the left side and reverb my change. See, it changed. So it's not 100% perfect, but you could do scroll. You know, what I, what I probably will do, um, since right now the, 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 the dual doesn't work, I would just keep it on si si signal into a, uh, individual decks until I figure out how to do the dual to work both of them at the same time. But it works. See, like right now I have this left side selected. I'm toggling through it. Now when I go to the right side, oh, it worked. I think it's just, see, it's just, it's interesting though. I see it move once. Like right here, I have, I have a, a distortion. I'm going to move echo and distortion going to change. Oh no, it didn't. It's crazy how sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. Maybe I have to leave it for a second. Let's see. See, it changed. <laughs> Let's see if it changed again. Yep, see. Both of them changed. See, one is a reverb, but then when you press it again, and I have control of the other one, like the first time they both change, see, and then you have control of it. It's interesting. You just got to get used to it. Um, I'm not sure why it does that, but you just got to get used to it. And once you figure it out, um, yeah, once I, I can figure out how to do the, well, you know, figure it out. There's a, there have to be other scripts. I want to do some more search, but it does work. It does toggle and I did divide it or Mr. Palacios hooked it up and he's figured out how to divide it, but it's working. It just doesn't. Let me see. I got that one. I'm done with that one. Let's turn on the other one. Yep. It turned on. I select something and I go back to the other one, find something else. But usually the ones I use the most, I always use the the flat, uh, the low patch filter, the loop row, the pitch. The ones that want the ones that mapped on my thing, here's the ones I map. So this ones I use a lot. Loop row, pitch. But I was looking I listened to the other one, the spiral. Spiral sounds pretty slick. I like spiral when you take the vocal when you put it on when you apply it to the vocals only. Spire sounds pretty good, so I might have to remove one of these, like noise. Remove noise and put Spire in there. Or remove filter. Cause listen to Spire. Listen to Spire and listen to it in the um. With the on the vocals only. All right. So right now I have Spire. I got vocals on. Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Okay, so I got Spyro on. Watch this. Listen to this. Let's remove the loop. Let's put the vocals on. It's on the vocals only. See, I got the Spyro on. Nothing. But when the vocals come in. See, if you see my screen, Spyro's on. Wait till the vocals come in. Listen to it. It sounds slick. That sounds pretty slick. And I like that. So I want to use Spyro a little bit more, more often. So we got Spyro right there. I have it on my pad. Um, see, this one's I like right here. I had like a uh, loop row, pitch, cut. Uh, that's all right. I like that. The, uh, you know, but here we have vocals. Oh, vocals actually work. Yeah, that's what they had trouble with the vocals. I don't know why. It was showing me NA, but now let's select, let's uh, select vocals now. So right here, I'm on. Turn it on first. Turn it on. Let's put for. Let's look for vocals. 
It's funny because you look at my pads here, they blink when you... F See, I don't have noise over here. You have the loop row, it just start blinking. Pitch, reverb, spiral, vocals. Here it is. See, now it's working. The other day, show me NA. But anyways, um, it does. Yeah, it's doing what it is working. Let's play this one. Let's back it up, back it up. Now let's play something else. That one doesn't sound that good. <laughs> it sounds good. It just sounds. Oh, let's play this one here. Loving, loving on me. Loving on me. Got that Oak Town vibe to it. The Oak Town vibe. Alright, let's put a 16 beat. No, nah, put 8. Keep it an 8. Alright, what, what do we have in the rehab cut? Now, I wanted to, I want the cut to come on and off with the button off and on, right? I'm going to turn it off. I pressed it once, it didn't go off. Press it twice, now it went off. Turn it on, turn it off. Instead of using the knob. And the reason why I like that, the button to turn off and on, is because I like the row. When I when you select row, let me select row real quick. Let's select row. Where's row at? I like to put the row like a little bit and then turn it off. I'm having trouble. I'm having trouble selecting row and turning it on. See, anytime I select row and I turn it off, it goes to a different one. That's what I noticed. So right now it's off. Let's turn it on. Right now it's on. I'm see it turned it off. Turn it back on. Now he goes low pro. I'm gonna turn it off. But when I turn it off, it's gonna go to a different um a different one. See, went to pitch. I try to turn it off. Now it turned off. So it's not a hundred percent perfect. Um, yeah, it doesn't. I'm not able to select row. Anyways, I could do it on my pads. This is what I like to do with the rows. So I got rows right here, and I like to turn on the um the 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 filter a little bit. So when I hit play, so I can turn it off and on real quick. See, I could, I could turn it on right on, like right on the money. Oh. So that off and on button, if it works like right on the fly, that'd be nice. But like, like I said, it's not hundred percent perfect. Um, it, it's, it's, it just, 
Let me see. Let's go to um, loop roll. I'm doing it with the buttons. I think it's loop roll. Okay, now I, I, I'm able to turn it on and off. Now I'm going to turn it off on my pads. All right, cool. Now I have control of that button. Let's see. I'm not using my pads no more. And that's why I want the on and off to work perfect because I want to turn it I want to turn it on on the fly so it does skip I notice it skips um, when you select um, like right now I have it on loop row if I turn on the other one the loop row might change watch let's see look at the loop row right here no it's it's fine I think it only does it let me see let me turn it on now so let me select turn on the other one and let's see look at loop row oh no it works it's just weird that, there's a conflict somewhere. There's an issue with something with the pads or with something. There's a conflict. Because I am using the pads and the pads turning it on. Turns it on and off. Or something. Something going on. But like I said, I notice it sometimes. You know. So right now we're on loop roll. Let's select something else. Pitch. Turn, let me turn it on. See, it went to reverb. So then I try to turn on pitch. It went to reverb. So now reverb could come on and off. You know, let me look for pitch again. I'm just turning it on and off. There it is, pitch. Now I can turn on pitch and turn off the vocals. Let's do the pitch. So I could I could turn it on and off now. See, I'm turning it on and off, right? It works. But the problem is when you try to select the effect. <laughs> so right now we're on pitch. Now, let's go to vocals. Yeah, I'm on my vocals again. I'm going to turn it off. It's going to change your watch. See, it went to out when I try to turn it off. So, it's interesting. Now it works. It's just like the first time you press it, it just skips it. I don't know why. I got to figure that out. Um, maybe it has something to do with the plus. Who knows? Because there is a plus on the thing. I got to look into it. Um, it's not 100% perfect, but it works. All right, this is your boy. And again, shout out to Mr. Palacio. Um, Palacios. Shout out to him for hooking it up. And I am out. This is your boy. And right now, the next one right now I want to fix, so I'm going to work on, is the pads. <laughs> so right now, let's, let's look on my screen. Let's see if I can add the pads. So right here we got the pads. We have hot cues. We have uh, effects. We have uh, stems. Oh, let's, let's, let's check. Let's check. Zoom in. So we got the four little ones right here to change the pads. I want to create a button, almost like the toggle one, where you could toggle through two of them at least. And that's my next one. So if I want to do hot cues, I'm going to press it. 
And then I'm going to press one more time and it's going to toggle to a different effect or a different path. Same with this one right here. So what I want to do, I want to um, put on my key, anything with hot cues, cues, uh, remixes. I want to put on one, one little section. Anything with stems, I'm going to put on another section. Anything with uh, rows, put on another section. And then the samples and maybe the, um, the scratch bank, put them together. You know, so I could just click on it and click on it and click on it and click, you know, and I could just go straight to them instead of hitting that shift. Because you could put, you could put two, you could put, but you have to hit shift and that button and it goes to a different one. See? And then shift and goes to another one. You know, right now we're in this, uh, what is it called? Color, I don't know what it is, I can't see. And then you put, you select another one, hot cues. So you could do it, but you have to do the shift. And I just want to just push it once or twice or whatever, three times. Just to, roll, just to toggle through them. <laughs> you know, that's my next experiment, my next thing. But I, I am out for now. Uh, I'm going to think about why um, when I toggle it, when I turn it on, it works fine. But when I try to turn it on and off, it skips over to another one. I got to look into that. All right, I'm out. Peace.